Despite no matter where I go or what I try and do, I always somehow end up right back here. But you know what, all things considered, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Besides, I'm fairly certain we're probably gonna see ourselves being back in shoreline rather frequently. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Dang it, I kind of forgot about the kelp issue. It's okay, last time I managed to take care of it relatively okay. We just gotta be very quiet. There we go. And if anything, once this leech falls off of me, I think the kelp will be more interested in that, right? No, no, okay. All right, so I guess the overall solution to dealing with those giant kelp creature things is to just take it easy, remain quiet, no sudden movements. Oh, seeing that lizard over there completely reminds me. I told myself, oh wait, hold on. Is that an axolotl lizard? Look at that one. It looks so pretty. Oh shoot, it's coming this way. <laughs> okay, seriously though, that looks really, really cool. And oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, it's time to go, it's time to go. Shoot, shoot. That totally reminds me that vulture problem, vulture problem. Jeez, holy cow. All I wanted to say was that someone in my comment section heavily recommended that I consider changing in the remix menu so that lizards have their own custom voices. Shoot, 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 please go down. Ah, now please go up. Oh shoot, oh shoot, this is, oh. No, 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 we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Thank heavens. Sorry, little squid buddy. I wish I had some food for you. Unfortunately, there were many problems happening at the same time. But next time I see you guys, for sure. God dang it, why are there so many vultures? Man, all I wanted to say so far was just, hey, we know we took a detour, we went to Pipe Yard, that was a train wreck. But hey, at least now we can work on rebuilding, we can fix this. This time, for real this time, we'll head to Outskirts and make our way through and hopefully find the pearl in a timely manner and profit. Speaking of profiting, I think another thing I'm going to do is start hoarding every single one of these that I can find. You, you, both of you go, both of you go in. No, no. I figured it doesn't hurt at all to just store up as much food as physically possible, so I might as well if I can. Or maybe, hmm, actually come to think of it, maybe I should just press on. Maybe I should just push on forward. But the day is still pretty fresh. I still have plenty of time to get through probably most of industrial as well, especially if I make my trip pretty quick. Wait a second. Wait, wait a second. I think I went the wrong way. Gosh dang it me. I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> Hold on. The path to shaded is up. This is the path to garbage, isn't it? Although I did get another point in the nomad, so that's pretty good, right? You can always take the stupid out of a slug cat, but you can never take the stupid out of a neti. Well, for what it's worth, the good news is that I'm pretty sure the path to shoreline from here actually isn't that far to begin with. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and make my way over to the shaded citadel karma gate and hopefully meet you guys there. Okay, okay, we made it. We made it to the toaster gate that leads to shaded. But wait, 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 wait. Can I still leave? Okay, I still can leave without penalty. Thank goodness. I need, I almost forgot, I almost forgot. Someone in the comment section told me that I can go into my collections and see all of the pearls. I can actually go into here and I can show each pearl that I've so far gotten analyzed by Emily along with the entirety of the text that were shared on it. I wish I knew this sooner. Thank you for telling me this now though. I'm, I'm super happy, I'm super grateful. Thank you so, 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 so much. I'm probably going to refer to this when it comes to reading these from this point onwards honestly but again i cannot stress enough thank you also i see that there's a couple of question marks here i am suspicious to say the least and i have my inquiries but i will not say anything just yet simply that it is there now one last thing before we make our way over to the shaded side i would like to get a couple of num nums a couple of yummies a couple of uh snacky doos i know that i've kind of like clarified what my new updated battle plan is going to be but at this very moment i just want to kind of like clarify and reiterate what the grand battle plan is for me so ideally i'm going to cut through shaded say hi to my friends if they're still around make my way through industrial head to outskirts i'm assuming that there is a pearl there which oh my gosh i almost forgot again there is another commoner that has been keeping logs now of every pearl I've got so that I don't have to like stress about it so much. And again, thank you so, so, so very much. Words cannot describe how much stress you are saving me. Ooh, I like the flashbang in here. But yes, I just, so man, my brain feels so scattered. I do have a plan. I promise I do have a plan. I, I'm just also kind of on the weird side about it. We are going to cut through shaded, through industrial, to outskirts, collect things from outskirts. Then we're gonna drop off the pearl from outskirts in that one spot just before shaded, ideally. Then we're gonna head up, go to, what was up again? Chimney was up. Check chimney, 
check probably that whole exterior area right the leg the wall that kind of stuff then we will circle back to five's house and or body and then from there if possible maybe grab a pearl i think and if there's a pearl there grab a pearl from from five's place along with hmm hold on i what is it called again then ideally i will head to five's place get both ideally a pearl and one of those little brain things for emily Geez, at this rate, I kind of wish someone would bring me a brain thing for my brain because my brain is not thinking right now. I am seriously looking forward to hopefully reuniting with some of my friends. I hope Pancake is still around. Oh, dude, that's super useful. Hold on. Ah, okay, I do need this though. Actually, okay, change of plans. What I'm going to do first and foremost, I'm going to drop off this flower, put it somewhere safe because as much as I would love to give it to my dear friends, I really need to make sure that this flower stays intact and stays safe under any and all circumstances. Also, there's not a lot of time, is there? I've been getting a lot of the shorter cycles per se. I noticed that it's very randomized. I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason to it. I don't know if it's directly correlated to how good I'm doing in the game and therefore they give me less time because they see me as not needing it. To me, it kind of feels more like RNG. Sometimes I get all the time in the world. Sometimes it feels like I get like two minutes to run through everything. Wait, no, the flower didn't save with me. What the heck? All I wanted to do was just keep the flower safe. Instead, I lost everything. I couldn't eat it. I didn't know what to do with it. That flower will come back, right? Because that feels a little BSE, honestly. Uh, the flower is not here. Well, with hopefully any luck, maybe it's like one of those kind of like things that like after a couple of like games times have passed, then it will come back to us. We can only hope, really. No sign of any goblins just yet, but hold your breath. There might be one once we get really into shaded. Uh, I think what I will do is I'll take a neuron for myself and a neuron for Emily. That way, at least at that point, we both can become a little bit smarter one thing at a time. Okay, well, we finally made it across, but at what cost? I see that something sparkling up there, but I kind of have a lizard problem coming pretty soon. He's really shadowy. Oh, Jesus is such a problem. <laughs> Hopefully he can't climb pipes. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Oh, gosh, no. There's so many of them. Oh, come on. Oh, hey, that flower did come back. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, that at the very least is very good to know. I thought I like royally messed up. I thought I like messed up on like losing a really priceless item that's like only a finite use. I don't know why today is the day where I just cannot seem to platform. I just cannot seem to get past that point without dying or something happening. I feel like an idiot. All right, now I finally made it. Except before I could even arrive, there is a problem. What is this? This sparkly thing. It looks almost like a pearl, but not. It's like kind of colorful, but it's not showing up for me. Oh gosh, there's already not nearly enough time. And then there's a the kelp things and I can see that there's a mole up there and that doesn't make me any happier. It's okay, I think there's one not too far from here. Even if the mole is in hot pursuit, it doesn't matter. I think I'm going to be okay. I just need to get up there, which is pretty easy. I take this pipe right here and then I think I head down, right? I think it's here, right? Here seems about right. Yeah, there it is. I won't lie, I feel a little worried. I haven't seen Pancake yet anywhere, and I just, I want to know if he's doing okay. My little guy. I hope it wasn't like a one-time thing, and because we parted ways, I'll never see him again. I'd feel really bad for having left them behind then. What was that? How did I do that? That was so cool. Oh, nope. Can't recreate it, though. I feel like by now I should know Shaded Citadel, and yet here I am still getting very much lost. Oh, hey! Look! Those flower things are here now, too. That's probably the DLC's doing, isn't it? Well, by all means, say less. Say less indeed. I mean, if I can dual wield two stabbies, might as well. Did you hear that? Sounds like something is exploding, which sounds like friendship. Could it be? Okay, well, rip to that poor guy. Hey, gang. Hey, everybody. <gasps> oh, it's so good to see everybody again. Wait, 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 wait. Do my eyes doff deceive me? Ah, uh, nay. For for just a moment, I thought that was... Wait, is it? Ironically, because it's super dark, I feel like I can't really see what I'm looking for. Oh my gosh. Ah! All right, party people, we're going. I haven't seen Pancake anywhere. I thought maybe I saw Pancake. These guys are kind of on a vendetta against that guy over there, so... And, and there goes the bug problem. Oh boy. All right, you folks. You guys catch up when you catch up, okay? I'm... I'm going to keep moving forward. Let's see, now from here, I think it's a relatively straight shot, right? I can head straight, 
sleep in the hibernation spot and essentially be done with it for the most part you guys are coming right yes hi hello have this oh geez oh man i can't shake the feeling that i lost pancake forever and that really bothers me <laughs> He really was my friend. I, I really am going to miss him. Oh, wait, shoot. I have a pearl in my stomach. I almost forgot about that. Um, ah, dang it. Crap. Ah. Uh, oh, and now I have one of his eyes. Well, that can also work for friendship tokens. I kind of lost track of all the goblins as a whole. And you, that flower, I'm not touching it this time. You stay exactly where you are. I've learned my lesson. I've learned it well. I'll just leave it be. Oh, ah! Uh, shoot! Oh no, the eye! Shoot! Oh! No, not this room. Oh shoot, I've totally messed up. I super duper messed up. Oh no! No, 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 no! Dang it! No! Ah, cr oh, crap! Ugh. Such is my fate, I suppose. Well, if I see Pancake, I'll let you guys know. I now need to work on getting back. Oh no! Run, 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 run! Whoa, holy cow! You saved him! Oh shoot, oh shoot, ah! Oh shoot, they got it, they got it, they got him. I feel like this is kind of cheating in a way, but like the goblins keep killing these like little dragonfly guys and I just keep giving them the eyes and they're like, oh yeah, keep it coming. But at long last, we have found our way out of Shaded. Unfortunately, I did not see Pancake during this time and I am a little sad about it, but I like to think that Pancake's off somewhere doing Pancake things. Maybe next time, maybe. Hopefully next time. If I had to be realistic, there's probably some sort of line of code that's like, if he's not registered as something of a certain level to me, then there's no reason to like save his ID, which is unfortunate, but we have the memories. And though making it through Shaded Citadel was really, really grueling, we made it through. So now we can focus on resting up and then going on to phase three of this multi-step plan, getting through industrial. Oh, look at this one. He looks so sad. Oh. Okay. Ow! Why? Oh, there's that, there's that adorable, sad-looking goblin again. <laughs> no way! Is that you? No, it's not you. Never mind. <laughs> well, that guy got taken care of. And then there's that guy there too. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, no! No, I want to save him! No, get back here! No! Oh, gosh. He got away. It was too late. Welcome back to Outskirts. It has been far too long since I've last been here. This is where everything first came to be, including that guy up there. Matter of fact, hold on. Ah! <laughs> oh, that was a really dumb thing to do, but it was funny. Oh dear, here he comes. All right, let's wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and swap, and then we're gonna get out of here. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh, slight problem. Oh wait, never mind. He doesn't know I'm here. Okay, so what I need to do is very quickly grab this spear, slink my way in, up, over, and into what this little dragonfly guy is saying is hopefully a hibernation spot, but instead it's just problems. Further ahead, he says. Once we get ourselves established back in the good old place that is outskirts, then we can talk about discovering where and when the pearl is. Hey, I got another point in the wanderer and another point in the nomad. Not bad at all. So the pearl hunt continues from here, but where do I go from here exactly? Tell you what, actually, I have a better idea. Why risk our ever so precious life when we can just refer to the map? Unfortunately, I don't think the map will just outright show me exactly where the pearl is, but it will give me a barely decent idea of where I should be looking, right? For starters, it looks like I've never gone that way. I never went to that path right there. I'm not even sure if I can make that path. I don't see anything that can allow me. In terms of outskirts, it looks like, it looks like there are three places of note that I have yet to explore in outskirts. We could probably start by trying to make our way there. And then, hmm, were there any major challenges to be found in outskirts? Well, we have an objective. We'll start there and then we'll work from there. Man, I have not been back here in so long. I have not heard this music in so long. Oh, whoops. Being back here in the outskirts kind of feels like meeting up with a friend you have not met with in a very long time. Oh, shoot. Well, that's not very good. Ah, very not optimal. I don't even think that guy knew I was here. They look very yellow. Do they look very yellow? Because they look very yellow. Regardless, I got what I wanted, so I feel like I'm pretty good for the most part. Well, I accidentally grabbed a bat that I did not need, and now I have it. Uh-oh. Are you pink or red? 
This time I really can't tell. Oh gosh. Oh, hey, it's that guy again. All right, it's time for me to go to bed anyways. Oh, I could kill those plants? I didn't even know I could do that. Uh, start the day off early and fresh with a lizard right there. Oh, and a pole plant. It's a good thing I tried throwing something at it. Oh, dang it. Why this? Why this? Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Ah! So now that I am finally back in the outskirts, I kind of just want to focus on seeing if I can find that pearl. And then once I do find that pearl, ideally what I plan to do is immediately circle back to industrial, head up to chimney, and then probably to Five's place. Oh, wow. I haven't seen you in a while. Hi, mama. Man, I miss you. And now it does beg the question, where exactly does one go from here? I'm not fully certain myself, if I'm being totally honest. I'm guessing the best choice that I have, at least for now on terms of like what I could do, is to just kind of look around outskirts and if I see anything of note, I'll let you guys know. Have I ever been all the way up here before? This feels really different. Oh shoot, hold on. Maybe I have been here before. It has been such a long time. Ooh, hold on. I know how to do this now. I just need to do a backflip somehow. Uh, hold on. Shoot, nope, that's not it. No, that's not it either. Hold on. There we go. See, I'm learning things. Oh, and I got these guys. Speaking of. Oh, wow. Have I been here before? This seems very new. Wait, yeah, I have been here. Oh, I think I just managed to make a giant circle. That's what I did. How much time am I looking at right now? You guys tell me to go down. I kind of want to jump across. What is across anyways? Oh, shoot. I know I saw that lizard earlier, but I'm just curious. Oh, my goodness. All right, well, there was a whole fight breaking out and it was glorious, but I think they finally calmed down for the most part. My map is a little broken right now, but I can see that one of the dragonflies is trying to direct me downward. So I'm assuming it's safe down. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. We're finding out the hard way because I totally messed that up. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I know where I am now. Hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. That's the pearl up there. Oh, fiddlesticks. That means we got to do that all over again, don't we? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ah! Oh, I remember this place now plenty fine. Oh, shoot. And right as I jump up, I saw another issue. There is a lizard rapidly approaching unless he got consumed by the worms. Where's the hibernation spot? That way? Okay, cool. Because we're kind of running out of daylight, not raining time right now. So time is precious and I would really like to not mess this up. Are we to continue this way? Seems like it. It's that guy again. Honestly, in retrospect, he seems more scared of me than I am scared of it. Oh, oh my gosh. My control just started to shake really violently when that guy came out. Okay, so for real this time, are you a red lizard or a pink lizard? Why did my controller shake so violently? Dude, why is my controller shaking so violently? And we missed the jump. That's less than optimal. So ominous to say the least. Every time he shows up, my controller shakes extremely violently. Oh, shoot. He's a fast one. What the heck? He's so quick. Also, I think I might die. Yeah, it's about to rain. Oh, there's that guy again. Oh, shoot, the rain. Forgot about the rain. Oh, gosh. That guy is so quick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Slight problems. Slight problems! Oh, well, okay, they're running away from me for what it's worth. Luckily, there is a hibernation spot right here. I managed to successfully kill one pole plant. My- not my intention, but welcome nonetheless. Do you guys ever get that feeling in a game where it's like, why do I hear boss music? That's what seeing that guy felt like. Because there's been so many times now where it just seemed like a really reddish pink lizard and you guys have been like, oh no, that was a pink lizard. If it was a red lizard, you would know. And it's like, thanks, that's very comforting to hear. Oh, speaking of, here comes the music. Oh gosh, here's a pinky. Well, I don't know, he's pretty quick too, all things considered. Uh-oh, uh-oh, a double uh-oh. Uh, we are running, we are running. There are so many lizards everywhere, but we are running. Oh gosh, time to go, time to go, time to go. That guy is in hot pursuit. Why did I take the slow route? So for what is worth, when those pinks were there, my controller didn't shake. When the red one showed up, however, everything shook okay there's not really a lot of time today to go experimenting and looking around for any more of those really shaky lizards so i'm probably just gonna focus on getting that pearl and getting out of here before i figure out the hard way whether or not that's a new lizard i'm looking forward to the day when like i find a lizard that just explodes like his ability is that he can just explode on impact and then everyone's gonna be like yay you finally met the burgundy lizard you know the ones that just explode when you get too close to them it's gonna be like oh of course how foolish of me i should have thought about that okay back to the the promised land let's try and do this whole oh shoot okay well i just need one free hand i'm assuming what i need to do ideally is just carefully make my way down hug the sidewall all the way down ideally and then when we get to the pearl we grab the pearl i already have something relatively vital in my that's not good <laughs> oh 
Oh no! Okay, well maybe if I'm quick, I do this, I do that. Oh, I'm so freaking good at video games. I will never be better at video games than I was in that moment. Oh my gosh. I think this is it. I think this is my redemption arc. This is the part where Nettie finally gets good at video games. I mean, look at me. I mean, seriously, just just like give, have a gander at me, seriously. Okay, well, the green lizard shouldn't take a look at me, but seriously, everyone else should take a look at me because it's like, look, I'm doing the little like flip flop backflip thing and putting the spear in the ground. I'm doing the, the cool things. How did he get up there? Good heavens, dude. It's all right, it's all right. We just need to make our way out of here. That's all we have to do. We don't have to fight him. We don't have to deal with him, nothing. Why does something vibrate again? Is there something just here in general? I feel like there's something here that's making my controller vibrate. Maybe it wasn't that lizard after all. Oh, my controller's vibrating because I'm running out of time. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you know what? I know why the vibration keeps happening. And I feel like a real idiot now because I only just now realized and put the, like, put the pieces together. So, for those of you who may not know, for a while now, I've actually been playing with a relatively broken controller. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. It's all right. I think those lizards are kind of busy amongst themselves. Ooh. Hi, mom. Bye, mom. Hi, babies. Bye, babies. Okay, so... For those of you who do not know, for a little while now, I've been playing with a broken controller. It's been having a bit of like a, I don't want to call it a Joy-Con drift because I feel very specific to the, like the Switch and stuff like that. But my C-Stick had a drift for the longest and it was only getting worse as time went on. And in my effort to fix my old controller, I have popped it open and I tried fixing the C-Stick and it worked temporarily, but then it slowly degraded again. But when I did do that, I also removed the vibration function from that controller. I took the little vibrators out, but now I'm playing with a new controller. I'm borrowing my one of my roommate's controllers and my roommate's controller is completely intact, including the vibration function. So now I'm sensing stuff that really comes in handy. My map is still pretty stinking broken, but if I recall correctly, I need to go to ideally the one that leads out of here. Unfortunately, it looks like everything has been tossed all over the place. What happened? I tried reloading the game. It didn't really work. I don't know what's going on with my game right now and why it's so broken. Okay, busted up map aside. The important part is that we got the pearl. The pearl is safe and the pearl is saved where I am right now. So even if my map has decided to be incredibly broken, we can ideally eventually find our way out of industrial. With any luck and a minimal amount of lizards in my way, hopefully I can just make my way quickly and safely back to industrial or a fight can break out that can work too okay i finally made my way back into industrial i'm just gonna rest up here just so i don't have to do that whole trek again and then we're going to ideally drop off this light blue pearl with the other pearls and then from industrial we're going to head to chimney ah! well that was sufficiently horrifying wait a second i know where i am this is the way to pipe yard again god dang it i went the wrong way Oh my gosh, that was really scary. <laughs> I would deeply appreciate it if that didn't happen again. Oh, that poor lizard. Whoa, hey, was expecting to meet some party people here. <laughs> oh, please tell me there's more things I can grab and throw at him. This is, this is so funny. Hold on. I need more rocks to pelt him. Is this why in ancient times people always opted to pelt people with stones? Because this is funny. <laughs> oh, this feels so incredibly mean to do, but it's also really funny. Finally, brought the blue pearl all the way back to industrial in its designated spot. Maybe I should find a bigger hibernation spot. I don't know. Up next, to go to Chimney Canopy, and I know just where it is to get to it, so no broken map is gonna stop me this time. Ah, the problems! There are vast! Look at that purple one, you're so pretty. Well, allegedly, the pink lizards can vary all the way from a very bright pink, almost red, to a basically purple. And that guy is a true testament to that clause. Doesn't stop you from being beautiful. I'm back! First things first, I drop off the fruit. Second thing I wanna do, I didn't get to do it properly last time. Someone told me to take this little green caterpillar and then stick it outside. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, sh- Ow! Ow! Caterpillar, you fool! You attracted him! <laughs> well, you know what? You know what? It's just not my problem. I'm going to bed. 
Good night. Why would you do that, Caterpillar? Why would you do that? This game is always like that. The game is always like, you know what we need? We need a flash beacon so that if you ever want to get yourself killed, you can do it pretty quickly. Well, regardless, our objective for today is done. Now, all we need to do is check chimney for a pearl. Explore chimney. Maybe go to that other side of chimney that I saw that I never explored in the first place. Go visit five and then profit. But I'm probably going to leave that episode here for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day or you guys have a great night. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye now.